So this is going to be called Pen Pal Series, where I have family and friends talk about their pens, right? So you are our Pen Pal, well, Pen Mom, as the kids would call it, but Jane. <laughs> <laughs> but, well pen pen mom's better than pen wife we aren't pen, going with pen wife no we're not going to go with pen wife so these are your top five pens but actually how many pens do you have i don't i didn't actually we have count lots of them. pens in the house but you always carry these in your bag to work and yeah stuff. not I all of them i didn't count them before we started the video but i can probably whittle it down to five by the end and they're not all fountain pens no and well this one does we don't usually ink up right no, well, th this vintage one mm. is really lovely. It's an old Parker. But we haven't inked it up recently oh. because it, it's uh, the cap is th threaded. It yeah. doesn't really stay on, but it's, it's just such right. a beautiful thing. Yeah, so we kind of keep it as a uh, treasure rather than having it fully restored. But yeah, it's from the around 1929 or so. Uh, it's an early I'll take Parker, your word for it. It's an early Parker. Uh, pocket pen kind of thing. There's a little lanyard ho holder on the top for you can put a chain or a cord on that and hang it from the lapel. Maybe a pin. And these are, you carry everything in a nook, right? Well, yeah, the ones I keep, <clears throat> that I keep at home, I always keep in their boxes or in some kind of box because yeah, I like to have them. Bedroom, yeah. yeah, I like to have them in the, in the, in the cases that they came in just so that they stay really stable. But mm -hmm. uh, the ones that I carry around, I carry around in a little soft container and mm -hmm. uh, it's been very useful. And so- and Toss that in your bag, not worry about stuff. Yep, it's got right. lots of pockets mm -hmm. and- uh, Oh, nice. Holds What's the clips there? very well. Well- They're it, not all pens. They <laughs> aren't all pens, there's a-, there's a there's a technical pencil I just got for my birthday mm -hmm. because I kept stealing our 12 year old's technical pencil. There is a stylus, oops, that just um, is for poking your phone. Mm -hmm. I uh, thought that was a pen when I first saw it. That you mm -hmm. thought was a pen that my coworker gave me for poking my phone. I don't know why there's this thing on the end. I, I think it's just to make so it look it more like, like a, a pen. pen. It was kind of confusing. And uh, then I just have some commercial pens and a couple erasers. Um, then should I should I get my non fountain pens out yes. of the way? Mm -hmm. I actually have used fountain pens for a really really long you have time. Shaper, old shapers. I had old shapers that I used with green ink in a cartridge, mm -hmm. but and calligraphy pen. These um, Oto pencil ball point five pens. They I, look like pencils. They the look like pencils. They hold like pencils. Although they're a little smoother, a little shinier than um, than a wooden pencil, um, and they have the ink is so fine, and um, it's a ballpoint, but the ink is so fine that it almost looks gray. Like a pencil line, almost. It almost looks like a mechanical pencil, and it was kind of confusing at first when we when you had those. But it wouldn't erase. Right. It's like, why won't this pencil erase? And that's an Oto. Yeah. So I have a I have two or three of those because I really like them. I can't see. Wait. Oh, it's rubbed off. So this one says Oto uh -huh. Pencil Ball 05 oh, 0 0.5 Japan Pencil Ball. But it's actually mm -hmm. a pen. Yep. And those are quite nice. We got those at the local bookstore. So the one that I probably use the most is the Waterman. Hemisphere. It's a Waterman Hemisphere that we got on a really good yeah. Sale, and uh, I yeah. I love how warm it is mm -hmm. in your hand, and for me it's just the right it's just the right width and size for oh, my grip. Our cat. Mm -hmm. And uh, Scout is very interested in this pen. Uh, our birds. <laughs> and so this is probably the one that I use most often. Yeah. And what ink did you put in it? That one. It's probably, is that the Oxford Blue? I think that's Oxford Blue. I can't remember. Is that, I think it's Diamine Oxford Blue. Yeah, which is a really nice pen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. I can't remember if that's a fine oops. or a medium. Looks uh, like a fine. Might be a medium. It, I don't remember. I can't. <laughs> I don't remember. But that's remember. the one you use most? 
Yeah, that's right. probably the one I reach for most often. Very so, I, so it would definitely be in the top five. That'd be number one. I, well, so far. Well, so okay. so far, so mm -hmm. far, probably. And then, um, well, this one. That's a wings song. You got because of the story. Oh well, the story is that, um, when communist China, when 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 the Republican China fell to the communists. Parker packed up all their gear, well, packed up and left the country, but they left all the tools behind. And the Japanese, uh, the Chinese just kept on making pens. And they, so it's essentially designed like a Parker 51. That's just the story I heard. But it's <clears throat> a good story. I like the story. The only the difference story. is there's an ink window, which I quite like. There's an ink window in them. It's like, the, and they're a fine, fine pen. They're like, for what? Twenty dollars? Yeah, it was shipping for free. It was yeah. super fun, mm -hmm. and we got a whole bunch of them to give as gifts. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it was fun that way as well. And you so I the... love the story because you give the pen, you mm -hmm. give people the story. Yeah, and then uh, I think this has the Sherwood Green. Sherwood Green in it, yeah. Um, Which and, is nice. and and that's a really fine nib in it. Too. And I always used a green ink mm. for many many years and writing many many letters in the nineteen nineties. That one is. I think you've shown this one before. Yeah. That's the, von von Bonds, the it, Eiffel, it's, the Eiffel or? it's obviously an Eiffel Tower souvenir pen. But it's got a misprint or something weird on it. And hmm. it's cheap and scratchy. Hmm. Oh. And it dries out. Yeah, but it's fun. But it has. It's another one that has a, a fun story. Yeah. And as long as you give yourself time to warm Once it up, it gets going. It's nice right now. Yeah, nice it works small. great. Yeah. As long as you don't stop to think about what you're going to say in the next <laughs> sentence, you're good. Yeah. You're it was good probably a, had something to do with some kind of advertising for some business or something. I don't know. And then, and then you, they maybe misprinted it, and then they had to get rid of them all. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, like, you know, bonbon tour Eiffel in French could mean let's bomb the Eiffel Tower. So that's that's yeah. kind of the, the what I find amusing about it. It is weird. But it, you also said that you came across like there was something in about candy the, being bonbon in uh, Portuguese. Portuguese, I, I, I could, yeah, that I came across. But, so anyway, my Portuguese is very weak. But I don't weak. think it's candy. Is, is I don't think that's actually. Then that's a new one that we got. That's a CP one. Yes, Lani. this one I really like. It's perfect looking. And you put in uh, a reddish ink. What's the? It's a uh, sailor grenade. And it, I, I love the ink. Yeah, and it's really nice ink. You probably can't see on the it's video, magenta. but yeah, and and like it, it's got dark and light patches. There's probably a technical word for that. Shading. Yeah, sure. A little shading. You can see how it flows across yeah. the page, and, and uh, mommy makes great pens. Yes, well. Well, that would be in your. Finish. In in my pen case, mm -hmm. I do have the Lamy. 2000 that you gave me for another birthday i think mm -hmm. and that's been around since the 60s Most and i know you love this pen yeah and i do not <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, no. so i don't know if i would put five. that in my top five oh, Be well it's i mean it's a it's a beautiful pen yeah. it's it holds beautifully it's not suited to my grip mm -hmm. i find it very bossy Bossy. The pen is very bossy. The it pen is bossy. it wants me to hold it in a particular way mm. and at a particular angle. Mm -hmm. And then the first time that you inked it up, mm. right now it has writer's blood in it. Which is a great ink. Which is a great ink. And you're a writer. Yes, and so I have an editor too. So. <clears throat> yes, it's an appropriate ink. Yeah. But the with the medium nib. Um, the first ink that you put in took so long to dry oh, that right. if I wrote a letter, be, I would just have to sit there like blowing on it yeah. for like 50 seconds before I, I could put it fold it up. I can't remember what was in it. First. It was green. Yeah. It was quite oh, it was a dark the, green. Was it the, it was a diamine ink. It was quite a dark green. Oh, no, actually green. it was a noodler. It was a noodler eel green. And I think that took a long time to dry with it for whatever it did. reason. So this, yeah. it, it, it needs a, a, a quick drying ink mm -hmm. and it's very bossy. And I think if you had a bigger hand than I do uh, and a different okay. grip than I do, it might yeah. be in your top five. Yeah. It's in my top five. Well, you're allowed to have it in your top five. I'm allowed to have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then 
We have yeah. another Twisby. We have, we have a lot of Twisbys, and yet I still steal your Twisby sometimes. I know, because I carry... Well, it all depends on what color you need, right? Well, and, black. and when you have the permanent ink, uh, oh, right. permanent black in... Yeah. Which of your Twisbys do you the have? The gray one has the, the, the carbon black, platinum carbon black, which right. is great ink. So like if I'm doing a little craft project that I want to do some lettering on, uh, and I want... And that's the dark green in it. It looks almost blue, but it's actually a diamine. Uh, I can't remember what it is. It's a dark green, though. And this is definitely in my top five. Like, yeah. if I don't, I don't carry it as much as the Waterman. Yeah. But Twisbees are great. Twisbees. I would definitely, like, I would definitely reach for it. Mm -hmm. That's for a great writing. starter pen. And if you got kids and they they're interested in pens. Give them a Twisby. Yeah, I would reach for it to, like, I'm never going to use the little noodly bits yeah. in the box for fixing your own pen. Mm -hmm. And I'm never going to um, really... Take even... it apart? No, I'm just, I'm probably not. And I, I do agree <laughs> that the screw cap is strangely irritating mm -hmm. um, <laughs> because it takes that extra second. Yes. But... Um, Time is money. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And, you know, everything I write makes, like, Dozens of dollars. Dozens of dollars. I, yeah, okay. I, 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 I make dozens of dollars a year, <laughs> quite literally, can. from my writing. Well, there's just other. The, yeah, then, 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 then there's just work stuff. There's the the mechanical pencil that I mentioned. Yeah, which is. Which actually, brand is that? It's a nice mechanical pencil. That's the Uni Curatoga, and I think, basically, when I, this is um. This actually is the pen that was recommended to me as the Cadillac or the pencil that was recommended to me as the Cadillac of technical pencils, because apparently it's uh, the owner of the bookmarks favorite pen, but I could be, mis I, once again, could be forgetting that wrong. But, but yeah, so it's a very nice pencil. Yeah, and so everybody needs technical pencils. So I think <clears throat> it's probably against the rules of your channel for me to say that my Top favorite pen top five point or that my top Aurora five ball. pens are <laughs> pencils <laughs> I, my co-workers were buying we'll office it supplies it. i made them oh. <laughs> i made them buy me really good pencils for a really old-fashioned sharpener mm -hmm. and uh and they got me exactly the ones i wanted which ah. is great mm -hmm. but um yeah so you know those would be in my top five because pencils. really good pencils are in my we'll top call five. it a top five but it, that'll be like clickbait and then this is a tolerable <laughs> this is a tolerable office supply store ballpoint. Ballpoint. But we so don't need to talk if about If you had it. to say go for top three out of all these pencils, top five. Top well, five. Do a top five including the non ball no non fountain fountain mm. pens. Okay. Well so if if I can count one ballpoint, mm -hmm. I'll count the that little one. The auto if pencil. You use ball. those all the time. And yes, and it's great for taking quick notes and, and the Waterman and the Twisby mm -hmm. and yeah, that's a nice Lamy CP CP one. And those are your top called? five. And and the pilot or no the uh, wing song wing song for the story yeah. for the story and for so the. So is that how you order them? One two three four. No. Five. no no. If I had to order them, let's see. Do do. Mm -hmm. I still do love. And, you know, I still do love a fountain pen hmm. more than a ballpoint, yeah. but I'll put the ballpoint in the middle. Right. That doesn't even seem really fair. You can't really compare the ballpoint and the no. think fountain pens. No, but you use this one all the time. And you really like that one, too. Yeah. And this, and Twisbees are just great. Yeah. Well, and it's just so easy to, yeah. to pick up actually, to write a letter. I carry that around. That I have one of those, and I carry it in my pocket all the time. And I always have keys and junk in my pockets in it held up really well it doesn't dry out it, doesn't dry like out. it works every time i pick it up mine and isn't scratched which is amazing because... and really it's just fun for the story yeah and they're good looking pens yeah and for twenty dollars you, you can order these and free shipping and i can i can remember what ink is in it because of the, the ink, ink window. window i like ink windows yeah and what's your journal what's that's it? a Le lystrum oh yeah so th this is a like five-year memory book and I'm not going to open it to, well, the pages that are written in are none of your business. <laughs> um, but they just say the things that have happened each day. But there's a slot for each of five days. So um, May 31st. But So then you put the year 
right? So the year isn't filled in, which is kind of nice. I like that. Yeah. So it's, it's like a, an analog Facebook memories and five years from now, I'll be able to see what happened this day five years ago. That's always nice. And yes, it is. And those are very popular now. So there's lots, of, everybody seems to be making them. So Obanichi has really nice ones too. I do tend to write in it in the evening and think, I wonder who I'm writing about today who will be dead in five years, but well, I try not dark. to be. I try not to be <laughs> quite so dark about it. It's that time. But it's, COVID it's been a long winter. <laughs> it's been a long winter. And my favorite paper to write letters on is this wonderful. Oh, yeah. That's the. The wonderful. Uh, Rodia. And I like the kind with the dots. I like the dots. Too. Yeah, Rodia. So it's Rodia with really nice dots. Paper. Where's the front? Yeah. With the, the dot pad. The one thing that's really annoying about the paper mm -hmm. is that to when you when you pull off a sheet, I love that it has a perforated edge mm -hmm. um, that you can pull out the sheet. But um, for most standard sized envelopes that we can get in Canada or North America, when you fold it in half, it's just a tiny bit just a teensy smidge too wide to fit in the envelopes that we have. And so I have to remember to like trim off two millimeters before I write the letter. Otherwise I write to the margins and then trying to figure out where I can trim off two millimeters is really irritating. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, I like the radios too. They're nice ones. So those are your top five, right? Sure. For now. And not that. Old. Well, for now. For yeah. now. And these are really great, actually. Ah, uh, yes. And if and there are Lamy, other ones that I like, I can just steal them from you. And Lamy makes fantastic stuff. So, and I like the 2000. Yes, you and I don't yes. as much, but that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, you said that the, the one that I like so much is too narrow for you. Believe it or not, that's actually designed by the same person. Yeah. Actually, it is easy to tell. It, it's not that hard. When you look yeah. at the clips, you can see all the elements. And, uh, and even though they're quite different in, uh, in girth, they're... There are similarities in design. So anyway, well, thank you very much. And if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you soon. So that's a top five pen pal video. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Bye-bye. Awesome.